The following is part of an Ascension class offered through the Energetic Synthesis website. And the following recited text is taken from the PDF overview that comes with this Ascension class, in which Lisa speaks in her own words and from her own session experiences about the neurology of the indigo soul and how it differs from the average 3D human. And I will leave a link in the description to this class if you would like to purchase it. And as a disclaimer, as always, I share this with the intent of helping and empowering, not for my own ego glorification. In my session experiences, I have witnessed that the indigo race's energetic field matrix is much more highly sensitized and developed. They are much more pre-wired into naturally being in a developed state of higher sensory perception and multidimensional awareness. Indigas process information and data much differently than most third-dimensional humans. Their mode of information processing is not in a linear sequence, but in a multidimensional state. They tend to read a page or book from the middle of the page, or at the end of the book, not reading to absorb the material from book cover to finish, as do most humans. They can scan a large field of material and pluck out specific data that is of direct interest to them and discard the rest. They can have a huge scope and breadth to their ability to absorb various amounts of information. They are not interested in absorbing anything that is not pertinent to them or of interest to them. Hence, school studies of minutia is a nightmare for most of these Indigo students. Their cognitive abilities are different, and many times they are not recognized and supported within their creative genius. If their immense potential is not cultivated, they may be considered impaired by the third dimensional standards. However, they are highly advanced and require new methods of learning and accessing their creative potential and soul purpose. Indigos have highly developed senses in different areas, acute hearing, sight or sensitivity to smell, sounds, and food. This can also develop into allergic responses to many environmental synthetics, pollutants, and preservatives in food. Anything inorganic is an insult to their nervous system and may become intolerable for them. Also, many indigos are fully telepathic. If they are exposed to certain qualities of energy fields not in resonance to their personal vibration, it can feel excruciating to them. I have found that many adult indigos over time have self-medicated their sensitivity with drugs or alcohol as a coping mechanism. Since childhood, they were emotionally overwhelmed from the tremendous input and array of external energies. Many times unaware they were an empath and that they would absorb the feelings, thoughts, and energies of people around them. Over time, this phenomena would feel painfully dense for them.